In this video, I will explain the procedure to find out the drag and lift coefficient in CFD post. And first of all, I will, I will demonstrate the same procedure in the fluent so that we can compare results in the, in the fluent and CFD post. So for example, here the, we have, uh, we have the knockout double, double, double for one to arrow foil. And uh, we have solved this case at the angle of attack equal to four degrees. And after solution, we are going to put the same angle of attack which we put in the velocity inlet condition in the force reports. And we will choose the arrow foil surface and click on print. The first thing here you will get the drag force and uh, here you will get the, the drag coefficient. And for that you must make sure that the reference values are done correctly. So for the fluent part, we just put the inward inlet values and uh, for the area because the cord length is 1 and depth we assume is the 1. So area will be equal to 1 meter square and the uh, length is a cord length which is 1 meter. Therefore the drag coefficient point 0, 1, 3, 4. Now the same thing we are going to do in the in the CFD post and for this we are going to open the CFD post from the cell number C6. Okay so we have uh, this is the value of the drag coefficient and the drag force. So drag coefficient is this one and the drag force is equal to 15.839 something newtons and for drag coefficient we don't have any units. So this is the drag force and this one is the drag coefficient. Okay, so this is the this is the from the post processing tool of the of the fluent and keep in mind that the fluent provided the these built-in tools. But for CFD post, we don't have this option. And for that, we have to create our own tools for the for finding out the drag coefficient. Although we can get the drag force, but uh, that is also at the zero angle of attack. For any any other angle of attack, we have to define the coordinate system. And from that coordinate system, we can get the drag force. And when, when we divide this drag force of the formula for drag force, drag coefficient is the uh, drag force divided by the 0.5 times density times area times velocity square and for lift coefficient the only change is that in the numerator we have the lift force instead of the drag force so these values you have to input to get the drag coefficient and the lift lift, uh, lift coefficient so first of all we have to define the few things here number one is that we have to go to the the outline and uh, from here you have to insert the new coordinate frame and let's see I put the name as uh, instead of coordinate frame 1 I just put the name as the coordinate C double O R D 1 and uh, because the angle of attack is 4 so I would be putting the this origin at the 0 0 0 which is at the leading edge and uh, we will define the angle of attack from here but for the momentum coefficient you will go for the point of the maximum camber. Sometimes uh, right now it's a 0.4 for this arrow foil, but uh, usually we take the 0.3 or 30% of the cord length. And now in this uh, this value, we have to put the these values which are the drag and the lift uh, coefficients for the cosine and the sine component. So these will go into the these uh, x5 plane points. So put this value for the cos component and then this value for the sine component. Okay, you can also close down the fluent. Alright, so we are going to put the sine component here. If not, then you can also calculate this value anytime. So I can put the value 4. And also note that we have the same values are already provided in the Excel sheet. So you can just copy the sine component of the 4 degrees and put this value over here. And simply click on apply. This is the coordinate system we have. And just reduce the size of symbol size to the some low value. Now you can easily see the this coordinate frame system here. 
and uh, to just give you an idea that this this is the x axis this is the y axis and when it is aligned with uh, this bottom side it's a zero angle but just to give you an idea let's say if you put the value of uh, this one as the uh, zero and this one as the uh, one means the 90 degrees so you can see the x is here and y is over here so again put the value for the cosine and the sine component and in this way we are defining the our coordinate frame system for this angle of attack and also again the sine component because we change the value to some other values are like uh, 90 degrees okay next thing is that we have to create the few expressions first expression is that the reference area and the reference area we are going to put is the one but the important thing is that you should be putting the unit system so units are the meter square and uh, to define the meter square we have to write down the m and then the square symbol then two and then bracket close and as you as as soon as you can see that the now this is in the italic uh, type of font it means that the units are accepted correctly or uh, are accepted by the cfx or cfd post okay next thing is to define the because we 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 have the three parameters in the denominator the one is the density second is the area third one is the velocity so next i'm going to define is the density so i put the name as the the expression name as the den but the value i'm going to put is the actual value which is 1.225 and again for the units we will go, going to use the square brackets and the kilogram per meter cube so put the kilogram in the small letters k and g put the space and then type the m for the meters and the for power 3 that is the kilogram per meter cube so power will be in the minus value so minus 3 and then close bracket and apply so we have the reference area we have the density and the last thing is the velocity or the v infinity so v infinity and its value is uh, for this case its value is equal to we have the value also also shown here which is uh, this is the case for the 3 million and uh, we have already saw the naka 0012 on this uh, round number and uh, here the this is the v infinity and unit system would be equal to the meter per second so meter then space then second and power minus one and uh, then bracket close this is square bracket and click on apply okay then the next thing is the the drag coefficient itself so we are going to put the new expression again and this time it's a drag coefficient and the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to use the cfd post functions and we put the force x force x for the drag and the force y would be for the lift coefficient so here we are just going to compare the the drag force and drag coefficient i will use the force x and then go back to the outline and from here you can see that the new coordinate system is the c double o r d one so put this value in the expression so put the one underscore and then exactly you have to copy that same thing with the even the capital or small letters should be done correctly and just be exactly copy of that expression or that coordinate system so set up c double o r d let me confirm again this is c double o r d and uh, one and that is at the so i'm going to put the function at so this will be at the location the arrow foil and apply so if, if you don't see any errors and then i will put the denominator first let me put the numerator which is drag force itself and uh, i want to find out the drag force so let's see this is the my drag force and the expression i'm going to use is that this will be equal to the from the expression this is the drag coefficient and its value is equal to right now it's equal to so we can change the properties of the these numbers so just make them as a fixed one and uh, put the more zeros here 
So drag force we are getting is the 15.8399. So which is same as the 15 point. This is we, we got from the CA, the fluent force processing tools. And these are the built-in tools for the drag and lift coefficient in the fluent. You have to just put the proper angles. So 15.8399. So slightly difference here is that maybe this is for the some internal type of the round off uh, things in the both softwares. Okay, next thing is that we have to actually we have to find out the drag coefficient. So again, I'm going to modify that expression. And that expression will be now divided by the numerator which is equal to the half of the density times area times velocity square, the 0.5, 1 upon 2 rho into area. So density is expression, then for density expression we have the den and uh, times the area of reference area. So again the from expression this is the reference area then the again the multiplication sign but the will open new bracket and uh, again i will use the expression for the velocity velocity infinity which is the vf and uh, i would be putting the power as the 2 and bracket close again bracket close and click on apply and you can see now that the, the drag coefficient from the CFD post is equal to the point 0 0.013, 0 0.013 also from the fluent and uh, 46467. So 7 is round off up to here. So now you see that the, the whole procedure for finding out the drag coefficient and the lift coefficient in the, in the CFD post. If we just change the, this force to the Y, and uh, you will get the the lift coefficient so let me show you the same thing in the fluent as well so i'm just going to open the solution from here and in the fluent is uh, again you know about this thing very well it's a slightly different thing so you have to use uh, this uh, angle of attack Okay, so we are using the again the same function which is the forces and this time I will choose again the arrow file and for the angle of attack I will be putting the, the cos component in the y and the sine component in the x. You know about this thing very well from the very basics of the aerodynamics and the minus symbol. And click on print so you will see that the lift coefficient from the fluent fluent built-in tools for the drag and lift force is uh, 0.834 while from the CFD post is the same value 0.834 so the steps are that very simple first you have to define the the coordinate system and the second is that you have to define the expression first for the velocity if uh, the infinity velocity or the incoming velocity then the reference area and the density. So these three things are needed for the denominator and uh, also we need to define the force. That force will be defined on the that coordinate system. So just use the uh, force x for the drag and the force y for the lift coefficient and put the expression like this.